you have the inability to read what somebody posts and then write a hit piece about them as a, he said, she said this, and now I'm offended because re, you might be an inverse writer. Hello everyone, I am Mecca Random 42 the one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube consumer advocate. Harpy, we are talking today about the recent backlash that, that is still piling onto one Miss Gina Carano, the actress who was let go from The Mandalorian because, let's face it, Disney would rather have the money of a bunch of bot accounts on Twitter and marketing accounts and people who I guess I guess are now Disney's preferred group of people, the people who get to call people names, whatever they want, read into anything they, they wish to based on the inability to read it all. People who get mad at what's in their own minds. And the fact that we have gotten to this point in society where these article writers are encouraged and allowed to run their mouths and write their rhetoric without any screen. Because if they had a screenshot or a picture of the article or, or a post, rather, they would know flat out things were never actually stated. That They would know that they are only mad at whatever they thought she was trying to say in the first place and are angry that they probably are actually observing and participating in the very behavior that they have a problem with her for and are mad and have to turn it around and point the finger on her because that's the society we live in. It's never your fault. It's already so always somebody else's. Nobody can take the damn responsibility for their own actions, for their own insecurities, for their own evil, for their own hatred. And when that happens... I go full harpy a little bit. We're, we're maybe sub harpy right now. inverse article. We've dealt with inverse before. They usually write all the little propaganda -y sort of Star Trek articles that are designed to play off the very, very lowest common denominator society. The people who just hear, oh, somebody said something istrophobic, and then they recite it back, and then they start to see that because if they, if they actually could read the posts on their own, if they actually took the time and actually looked and saw what these posts said, they would understand 1,000% that they're reading so much into these things. It's exposing a mirror on their own souls, on their own insecurities, on their own hatreds, on their own disgusting behavior. And we can't have that. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't have that. We can't see ourselves for being these easily manipulated sheep that are going around just being nasty to each other. Well, the people who, who actually control everything are just using that to their advantage to play everybody off each other. Oh, no, no, we'll get them all fighting. We'll get them all complaining. Because they know. They know that people have gotten so lazy and so... I've done it, too. I've gone off of just the headline or something. But a lot of the times, these articles, we know what they're saying. Because they're all BS, made-up, garbage, propaganda, bullshit. We know that. We know that. I said bullshit twice. Who cares? Gina Carano's firing from the role of Cara Dune changed the landscape of the Mandalorian and reshaped the overall Star Wars fan experience. Suddenly the fandom wasn't divided by Abrams or Johnson prequel versus sequel. Yeah, because they want us divided by everything else. They're like, oh, everybody likes the Mandalorian. We're gonna have to find some way to divide them. Oh, let's put a bunch of words in an actress's mouth because we know she's other. We know she's not part of our clique. She's not part of our cult. We know she's not part of this little wokey woke mob and isn't gonna just just get back at somebody else. She's not going to shift the blame on somebody else and throw them under the bus to take whatever heat off of her from what we're making up, she said. And that's exactly what's going on here. And if you don't know what she said, what are they upset about? Here, we're going to just look at, the, look at the post. We'll look at the post right here. I don't even want to go full screen, but I'm going to read it. it. It states the people who, who were in the events of World War II it is a sensitive image. It only specifically references those two groups of people who are involved in that time period. It says nothing about conservatives. It says nothing about Republicans. It says nothing of the sort. It says none of those things. It says none of those things. And anybody who is actually offended by what she posted, 
would 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 be offended by any mention of that because they realize that that's what exactly is going on i think i think they realize that that we're allowing these hate mobs to go out of control so much to the point where so much to the point where they're they're lashing out at, at us for saying hey hey you're you're kind of being one of these bad guys you're kind of being one of these people who pile on and have a problem with this and this is just a whole bunch of this is just a whole bunch of uh, garbage. I don't even want to read their article. They're basically trying to spin everything and they're trying to say that boop, bop, beep is some, uh, if you're really, really offended by boop, bop, beep, then maybe go after all the people who have, I'm a meat popsicle, I'm a this, I'm a that. Because let's, let's face it, the people who want her to put a she, her in her pronoun bio are not exactly a good representation of the community. And here, here are screenshots gathered by our good buddy Data Racer. He's responding to that Star Wars girl and Ryan Cannell. Uh, and, and even Anna is talking about, also shout out to both of those. You, you guys, you already subscribed to Ryan Cannell and Anna, that Star Wars girl. Sh shout out to both of those channels. I didn't get him on my birthday stream. We got Anna here. So thank you for being here, Anna. Wow, an article about the weirdos harassing Gina. Congrats to Ryan Cannell for being the first linked tweet that apparently started the movement against her. Stranger that Data Racer's evidence is left out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. See, Data Racer, as you know, actually archives and screenshots all the people who use their little marketing accounts and use their influence and use their social media presences. And, and a lot of them tend to be Lucasfilm employees. A lot of them tend to be blue check mark writers. You know, they tend to be a lot of those people. So Let's just take a look at some of the things that they were calling her, that they were calling her. In my experience, screaming at someone that they are a racist when they are indeed not a racist in any post and or do research will show you those exact facts. And I'm sorry, these people are not educators. They are cowards and bullies. That's, that's what it looks like to me. And, and this goes back to August when a lot of this stuff started, when it's just nasty, nasty, nasty. I don't even want to read these. I don't even want to read these. If you guys do want to screenshot and freeze frame and... Make it big. I didn't make it bigger, did I? You know, we'll, we'll just make it pretty much full screen here. If you do want to read every single one of these, you can and definitely follow Data Racer, Data Racer. This, a lot of the time, these are uh, just copy and paste. A lot of these things are, we, we want to force you to do these. We want to force you to say these things. Force you to push, put these in or else, or else. Oh, attacking her ethnicity. Telling her they hope she, she, <sighs> gets food lodged in her throat and is unable to breathe and prematurely expires from it, I suppose, I suppose. Or am I interjecting that the end game of that, based on things that they didn't even bother to read or look at, based on things that they just don't care about. This is, this is the thing. They think, they think that they are slighted for some reason. They think that a boop bop beep is, is a, a an offense to... Here, here's the thing. The only way putting a boop bop beep in your in your bio, and I'm gonna be blatantly honest here, is if is if now and I know Disney says this. Disney, Disney and Lucasfilm obviously clearly think that all members of the transgender community are people who behave this way on so not this way this way on social media who behave this way on social media. All people, according to Disney, all members of the trans community. According to Disney, all members of the transgender community, but according to Disney's own admissions and bending and caving to the people who post this, according to Disney, they think all transgender people are this, are this. So because what Disney thinks of you, do you really, really want to support a company? Do you really want to support a company that Disney says all transgender people are, are posting these sort of nasty negative things about her because according to Disney... That is, that is the, the message that I got when they said, Hey, we're going to, we're going to give her a talking to because she put beep bop boop, because according to Disney, they have stereotyped the entire transgender community, according to Disney, in one group that thinks and feels and acts the same way that they swarm you like a hive, according to Disney. And according to Disney, well, you have to bend to that mob because according to Disney, that's going to actually somehow Shame, shame you into what? Into what? Conforming? Conforming, shame you into, into how is that going to make the community a, a better place by saying, well, we're going to listen to these people because they're the nastiest, most horrific people on social media. They got mad over something like this, like this, and 
Many of them, many of them are not members of that community. Many of them are not members of these, of these community. Many of them are just random marketing accounts, random bots, random stan stalker fans. They're stalker fans. Is that really, really the community that Disney wants to cater to when they have these people who write these articles, when they have these people who write the articles about what they interpret, what they heard somebody said she said, that's the complete narrative I keep seeing. I keep seeing it over and over and over again that they say, oh, she said conservatives were, they, she said what Where? Where? There's not a word here anywhere. Can I make this bigger? I probably should. I don't see it anywhere. I don't see the word Republican. I don't see the word conservative. I don't see any of that anywhere. And according to the Gina Carano interview that I did watch, she kind of seems like me, somebody who really wasn't political, didn't care about it, let other people worry about that stuff. And then she realized, oh yeah, you're a bunch of children who don't know how to read, who are going around talking about politics and political parties and campaigns and affiliations, like you know what you're talking about, to people who are not mentioning or saying in any way, shape, or form any of these things. And they can use that to manipulate the very lowest common denominator of society because that's how little they think of you. Because these companies actually honestly honestly legit think that you can't figure out how to turn on your computer or use the internet. They really think that of you. They really think that of you. They think that I'm supposed to be better than somebody who, who might not look like, really, really? These companies are really, these are the companies we want to cater to. These are the companies we want to support. The companies that think the entire transgender community say this type of stuff. Do you really, really think that, that, that this is, a, this is a something we want to reward? This is a behavior we want to reward. A company that says all transgender people are this, are this representation of people who get super angry and upset. Really? Really? So, so Disney doesn't think that they're reasonable people who might understand how, how putting a pronoun in somebody's bio might be, I don't know, outing them in a way, shape, or form that they don't want to be outed right away. They might not have the same have the same level of commitment to their Twitter social media accounts. They might see putting I'm a meat popsicle or I'm a trash panda or I'm a kaiju harpy in their Twitter profile and not understand and not understand that it is a cult cue trigger tribal little it, it's it's one of these things that if you're not part of that little community and you don't go in and hurt and harm somebody else to take the, 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 the attention and the direction off of you and the focus off of you. Then you are to be fired, ostracized. And, and you know what? Maybe, maybe there's a reason why they got so offended when they saw their behavior pointed out in these. I mean, I mean the behavior of the people from Germany pointed out in these. Maybe they got so offended. Maybe it hit them a little too close to home. Maybe they started to realize and get upset and offended that they were actually being super duper mean to people for no reason other than just going about their day, going about their, their social media posts. And the fact that they still need to use the, you, you see, they won't have a picture of this. They don't have a picture of this at all in this article anywhere. They don't have a picture of her posts. They just have the beep bop boops, which she did immediately say, oh crap, I didn't mean that as an offensive thing. I thought you wanted me to put a pronoun, so I'd put something cute. And I took that as a, well, since she's in crapping Star Wars, she put a Star Wars beep bop boop in there. So I don't know. I don't know. Now they're going after Rosario Dawson, even though there is absolutely no proof of what she did or said either. And they're not going to say it. They're just going to repeat it enough times so they can, what, make it true, make it seem true, may turn everybody into the little mobs that they think that Disney thinks you, that, that those communities are. That's really where we're at. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of having to constantly correct and point out and smack down <laughs> these terrible, terrible publications for their bullshit. And, and we know it's bullshit at this point. How many years have we been covering these article sites where they take a Kelly Marie Tran article out of context? Years. We've been doing this for years and you would think that they know we're onto them. We know you're lying. We know you're lying. You got caught red-handed. She said nothing of the sort. If you see conservative Republican anywhere in this thing, 
then I don't know which post you're looking at, but this is the post they're upset by. It doesn't say any of those such things. And I think everybody can agree that what one group did to the other group is horrific, horrific. And so stop doing it if you are, if you, if you identify with that, if you identify with that, don't do it. Don't be, just be better. Just be better people. I'm tired of this. I'm going to go and chill Smoke out weed every day. and watch some bat lamin or something. No, no, that's a terrible idea. I am Mecca Random 42 and I'll see you guys on the next video live stream or wherever. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.